there. Welcome to another episode of Roaming Rogers, again about the Star Cruiser, but this episode is about shopping. So, first off, shopping begins on shopdisney.com. I think it's when you get to your 60 day window before you travel. So when you are logged in with the email that you use to make your reservation, you can shop the costumes and the other products that they have for the Galactic Star Cruiser on Shop Disney. So that's where I got my black Star Wars dress. Uh, I've got a whole video of when I got that with unboxing that. I will put the link in the description. But there's the captain's uniform. There's a Jedi tunics, there's a robe, but I'm not sure which of those are available online before you go um, because it's after I've gone, so I can't see if what I have is the same as what you have before you go. And honestly, I don't remember which things were available before because that was a long time ago and I just didn't think to screen record. But if you are within your 60 day before window, you can go over to Shop Disney and check out what's on there. And then I will put right here what is available to me after. So that is all the things that I can get because after you get off the Star Cruiser, you're supposed to have a 30 day window to shop, but it is not the things that were on the Star Cruiser. I mean, these things were on the Star Cruiser, but there were a lot of really cool things on the Star Cruiser that are not available in this Shop Disney link. And nobody's really sure right now in my Facebook groups, nobody's really sure if there's any way for us to get the things that were on the Star Cruiser. So, Shop Disney School, um, but that's what I can see that's available. All right, so now talking about shopping on the Star Cruiser. First off, I wanna give my tip. There is not a lot of time for shopping. So if you wanna shop, my tip is to go ahead and do it. So like you get on the Star Cruiser, maybe you go over to your room real quick, then I would go ahead and take the tour around the ship and then shop before everybody gets on. I didn't do it quite then. I went and ate first and took a tour and then I went over to the shop and it was like 3.45, 3.50, right before muster. So I was looking around at what they had and I had seen this necklace before I went. I'd seen it online that it was part of the Shandrilla collection. So I was looking all over for it because it is the one thing that I wanted. And I looked in all the little jewelry cases down low and I could not find it. So then I was looking up high because they had jewelry cases up high and I finally found it on a display at the back of a really high up jewelry case. So I asked one of the workers, I said, excuse me, do you have that necklace? And she said, oh, that shouldn't be up there. We're out. And I was like, okay, well, that's like the one thing I really want. <laughs> and she said, let me go in the back and see if we have any more. I said, well, please, because if not, will I be able to get one in the future since I wanted it while I was here? She did not say yes to that. So that's why I'm saying go early. So she went back in the back and I stood around and waited for a bit. And I was like freaking out. Obviously, you know the end of the story, but I didn't. So I was getting really worried and it was super close to time for muster. And then she came out and she said they found one that had been on display. So they had one in the back. So I got the bag, which it's never been in the bag because I wear it all the time because I just love it because it was just the coolest experience. Plus, it just felt, it's already exclusive stuff because you can only get it on the Star Cruiser, but it felt even more exclusive to me because I almost didn't get it. So I wear it every, I've worn it every day since I got it. But if there's something that you really want, make sure you go ahead and get it because if it's gone, it may be gone. I had no promise that I would be able to get it later. So there was lots of cool stuff in the store. I'm gonna put that video, maybe it's been playing while I've been talking, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. But we got some pins, all right. And this one, which is more Emmys than mine, it lifts up. So those were on the Star Cruiser, we got those. I'm a pin collector. And then after 
Well, I'll get back to that. Then, they also had patches. So, I got this one to decorate a jean jacket or a suitcase or something. They had other patches. My mom got one and I let I sent hers on home with her. So, they had lots of really cool exclusive stuff. So, again, if you want it, get it. So, you can shop. Then the shop closes during muster. Then it closes at 11 o'clock the first night. It opens back up, they said, at 7 o'clock the next morning. I was not up shopping at 7 o'clock, but they said it opened. But I do not know if it stayed open all day for the day with the excursion to Batu or not. And then I know it was open. I... I guess till 11, but I'm sorry. I don't know for sure. Uh, I was too busy being on missions and things. I did walk in again, and I saw a shirt that I really liked. And so I was going to get it, and I just didn't get to it that day. So I was going to get it the next morning before we checked out. But they don't open the Chandrella Collection store on debarkation day. So, another tip. As I already said, get what you want at the beginning. Definitely don't wait for debarkation day because it doesn't open. So, um, Timothy did ask somebody for me about the shirt that I wanted. So, she, we had to hang out for a while, but she did actually get it for me. I love this shirt. Love it. So, it's just this Hanging shirt, it's got the sleeves, and then on the back, it's got the symbol, the logo. So I love it, but we got lucky that I had Timothy to ask for that and that we had a, a Star Cruiser worker who was able to get it for us. I wouldn't count on that happening. I'm sure if that became like a constant issue, they would just say no. Um, but. I don't know how I was supposed to know that they weren't going to be open that day. I didn't ever see it published anywhere, so now you know. Then, you got on the little spaceport thing to get off the ship. You got off back at the Galactic Star Cruiser Terminal, and there was another store with different stuff. But, the merchandise that's outside says Star Wars on it. Everything inside the Halcyon doesn't say that because you are living your story and Star Wars doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe. But outside stuff does say Star Wars. So, we've got this Star Wars. You can't really see it, sorry. Galactic Star Cruiser pin. Some of this stuff I know is on the Shop Disney link. And this Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Halcyon patch and Emmy got a shirt so that was fun and it was a great way for them to get you to buy one more thing and I did buy a couple more things so I enjoyed shopping on the Star Cruiser definitely this is my favorite purchase I love it but I also love my shirt and I love my Star Wars black dress I got before I don't regret any of my purchases but remember if you want to shop on the Star Cruiser go ahead and do that as soon as you get there if you have last minute purchases, make sure you make them on night two because you it wasn't open on debarkation day. All right, thanks for joining me for this Galactic Star Cruiser shopping extravaganza. And until next time, keep roaming.